What's going on YouTube? Happy Wednesday. I just want to introduce you to you guys to a person you may have never heard before. Some of you guys may have because you know um you know we got a lot of people out there saying buy gold. The world's coming to an end. Everything's everything's bad is happening. You know, uh, I jotted down some notes here uh John Templeton, may he rest his soul now. L let me tell you how he got his start. Remember that thing called the Great Depression? 1939, John borrowed $10,000 to buy 100 shares in everything that was trending for less than a dollar. Now that sounds idiotic because why would someone buy something when everyone's freaking out? <laughs> but do you remember that little statement I said when everyone is doing something, do the opposite? Because most people are idiots. They follow, they're like sheep. They follow the shepherd. And wherever the sheep are going, that's where they go. It's, 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 it's natural for people to do that. But see, I was one to never get caught up in that hoopla because I learned that lesson a long time ago. So let's look at this. So when he borrowed that $10,000 in 1939 during the Great Depression, everything hadn't recovered or anything like that. So his this is his, what he calls his iron principle. And I'm going to put the link to his uh, video, not his video, excuse me, but his, his bio after this. And, and by the way, he died a billionaire, by the way. This was his principle. To buy when everyone else was selling and to sell when everyone else was buying. Huh, so let's think for a second. Everyone's buying gold. And people who have no financial knowledge whatsoever, just because they heard someone else say it, are buying gold. And they're telling everyone else to buy gold. But what are the experts saying? Sell gold. Hmm. To do the opposite of what the crowd is doing. Where are we getting our financial advice from? Where is Dimcad, George Fertito, all these other guys who are out there spreading the doom and gloom, <laughs> spreading the doom and gloom about what's going to happen, right? What's going to happen when I had a guy contact me on my face, on my, excuse me, on my YouTube and told me by November, which is already going, dude, you have no clue. By November, uh, businesses will be torn to pieces, fired. There'll be mass uh, protests all over the United States. This country will be done. So November's passed. Huh. Dow Jones uh, has reached an all-time high. I'm not really a Dow Jones investor, but I'm just saying a lot of things are starting to turn around. In some places, real estate is starting to turn around. But all of a sudden, the world is supposed to come to an end because someone's emotions. So my question is to you, because I know some of my subscribers buy into this. Uh, everything's going to end. 2012, the world's going to end. The American economy is doomed for. Here's the thing. If you study history all throughout history, Anything is up and down, up and down, up and down. It's a roller coaster. It's a roller coaster. So I just wanted to to introduce a hero like John Templeton to the world because, like I said, you know, I'm tired of hearing. It seems like you. Know, well, I know I'm a minority when I'm over here saying, "Hey guys, stop freaking out. That's not the way you handle things. When things are bad, just be calm, be patient. Don't make any hasteful decisions." Just take a deep breath. And everyone's like, no, 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 you got it all wrong. This is about to happen. And none of that has happened. 
So I want to hear you guys chime in on this. Are you guys out there buying gold right now? Or are you guys out there selling it? Are you guys out there buying silver right there, right now? Or are you out there selling it? What are you doing right now financially? And I know somebody's going to come on who's a financial expert to say, well, you have it all wrong. We have the data. So take time. Learn from the people who are already successful. Follow their habits. Don't follow your own emotional, I make bad decisions when I'm stressed habits. Because that's not going to get you to the financial, financial success bracket. So I just wanted to put that out there, guys. Uh, John Templeton, I'm going to put his uh, video. I'm not sorry, me video, but his, I don't know. I'm talking crazy today. I'm going to put his um, link to his bio in the description. You can read it for yourself. So just wanted to share that, guys. Share it with you guys today. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe. And until next time, signing off.